fans at the front of the boat, enjoying a bit of friend time, meditating and spinning a yarn, doing whatever it is that friend does to relax. So I thought I would have a chat to camera about what's happening, where we've been, what we're doing now, what's going to be happening in the future. We've been doing vlogs now for six years, six years, believe it or not. And uh, we like to think we have we only put a vlog out when we've got something to say, when we're happy about putting a vlog out, when I'm in the right frame of mind, for instance, and I haven't been uh, of late. And whenever there's a gap between us putting videos out, that's because it's me. And, um, Basically, it's because I, I suffer with depression and have done for the best part of 30 years. Uh, started off with jobs that I didn't like, uh, high pressure jobs. And then uh, I guess the biggest event was my wife at that time getting cancer. And then we had 17 years of will she be OK? Will the cancer come back? And then sadly, the cancer did come back and she died of a brain tumour which many of you will probably know. And it's because of that, uh, every year, specifically at this time, but it's not just winter. It's, it can happen at any time throughout the year, this insidious little condition, this black cloud that comes over you and just in, envelops you in misery. That's all the, the only way I can describe it. And uh, I just go down pretty pretty low this this year run up to Christmas wasn't too bad but after Christmas middle of January onwards has been absolutely awful um it hasn't been fun for me but I can't imagine what it's like for Fran watching somebody you love uh go through that she's been the best nurse she's amazing she comes from a clinical background anyway so she's very understanding she can understand where I'm coming from and what's happening. And then, and she just really lets me get on with it. Um, I've done all the drugs, I've done all the doctors, I've done all the therapy in the past and none of it specifically worked, particularly worked for me. And um, I find the best way out of it is to just work my way out of it. And um, that's what I'm doing now. Um, I, I can see light at the end of the tunnel, sun shining, and uh, I feel um, I'm coming out of it. It's been one of the longest bouts I've ever had. It's been absolutely numbing. It really has. So also within that mix of my state of mind, we've been talking about the future of the vlogs, the future of our life on board the boat. We sat down the other week uh, and for a whole morning just thrashed out alternatives um, do we go back on land? Do we stay on board Laura Maisie? Do we get a bigger boat, a wide beam, and uh, park it on a river somewhere and um, try and find somewhere with a garden? But we've done all that garden thing. Um, it's still in, in, in us that we want to find somewhere where we can garden in, in peace and quiet. But um, I don't know, we, 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 we scored, we picked 10 reasons to live on a boat, 10 reasons not to live on a boat, 10 reasons to live on land, 10 reasons not to live on land. And we scored each point and it worked out that living on a boat came out tops. And we'll actually talk about this in our next video because it's quite uh, interesting, the results and our thought process. So I guess that the way of thinking is if we don't know what to do, then do nothing, just carry on as we are. And um, hopefully in the next few weeks, uh, my head will be in a better frame and uh, we'll be making videos again. We've just been cruising up and down this same stretch here. Um, I spent a couple of weeks ago, four days without actually leaving the boat. I never, <laughs> never set foot off the boat. And uh, it's quite a paradox really, because when you think about it, you know, if you go outside and get some fresh air, it can and does make you feel better. So, uh, yeah, getting better, getting out there slowly. And um, 
that is all I really wanted to say. It's uh, the reason why we're quiet. And if we're ever, if ever we are quiet with our vlogs, that's the reason. Because I'm the one that does the editing. Uh, I'm the one that set this channel up and thought it was a great idea. Which it is, you know, it's, it's fun. And um, it's a great way to earn a little bit, a little living. We've, we're fortunate in so much that we don't have to go and work for somebody. We do have to make a living and we do with Franz Weaving and my paintings and the money we get from Google. It helps us tick along and we do just tick along, you know, without eating too much into what savings we've got. So it's uh, a nice way of life and we're fortunate. A lot of people say we're lucky, but not lucky. You make your own luck, I think. But we are fortunate that we are able to live this life and not have to go to work day in, day out for somebody else's uh, pockets. So hopefully in the next uh, week or two, we'll be restarting the vlogs and uh, showing you our travels again. So it's been great having you all along for the six years this week, I think it is. And uh, long may it last for as long as we want to and uh, as long as you want to watch. So uh, thanks all for watching. Thank you all for your support over the last six years and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.